What's going on Packers fans? Bass here and finally the report just came out. What I've been saying all along, Aaron Rodgers is going to play for the Green Bay Packers in 2021. So about 10 to 15 minutes ago, actually during the Green Bay Packers shareholder meeting where Brian Gutekunst and Mark Murphy weren't really giving a big insight whether or not Aaron Rodgers was going to report to camp tomorrow. Um, Ian Rappaport put out a tweet uh, right during the shareholder meeting saying, uh, Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers has indicated to people close to him that he does plan to play for Green Bay this season, sources say. That is the expectation. Many factors at play, but with GM Brian Gutekunst saying he is hopeful for a positive outcome, there's a glimmer of optimism. So if you've watched any of my videos throughout this offseason, you should know that I've always said I believe Aaron Rodgers will be a Packer for 2021 at minimum. I always said there's no real way to move on from Aaron Rodgers in 2021. Uh, the contract simply just does not allow it. I mean, 38 over 38 million in dead money just simply does not allow that to happen so what goes on after 2021 i mean that's anyone's guess but uh i think this year is going to be um definitely aaron Rodgers. it's definitely gonna be aaron Rodgers at quarterback and it could be quote unquote the last dance now if you haven't seen already the reason i say last dance is because both aaron Rodgers and Devonta adams a couple days ago posted instagram stories of the uh last dance photo um, of Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, if you've seen that series. It's pretty much stating that this is going to be their last round of the championship until everything pretty much blows up, which isn't great to think about. But hey, um, that's a lot of time from now and then. And as long as they both come and play in Green Bay this year, and hopefully things can get resolved, I'm okay with that. So obviously Aaron Rodgers still has to physically show up to Green Bay. I don't believe he's there yet. Um, he's going to have to show up tomorrow and then for camp on the 28th. But I do believe this Ian Rappaport report, um, I do believe his sources, I do believe Aaron Rodgers is going to be here tomorrow, I do believe he's going to be here for the training camp for this offseason. Um, I believe these sources are actually correct. I believe it's not an accumulation of information. And speaking of an accumulation of information, I just want to kind of call out a lot of these reporters over this offseason. It's been a brutal, brutal offseason for to be Packers fan. I mean, everyone just, everyone and their mother are making reports saying Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to be here. He hates Brian Gutekunst. He wants to get traded. Uh, the Denver Broncos offered him uh, picks and players, and San Francisco almost traded for him right before draft day. I, I always thought it was a load of crap, to be you know quite frank with you. Um, you know, you'd, until I heard it from Aaron Rodgers' mouth, I wasn't going to believe it. And the fact that a lot of his close friends, being John Kuhn, AJ Hawk, James Jones, um, they all said positive things. They all said they believe Aaron Rodgers will play in Green Bay this year so that's what I ran with that's what I went with and obviously that's you know becoming true now so and as you saw the other day Aaron Rodgers posted a um, Instagram story as did David Bakhtiari they were training together they both trained at the same facility so that was also good news and also you know raised my hopes up to him actually showing up uh, to the start of this training camp so let's not jump the gun here and automatically assume that everything's great everything got resolved everything's good between um Gutekunst, Murphy, and Rodgers. Obviously, there was a disconnect. Obviously, there was something wrong. But I think a lot of it was Aaron Rodgers generally doesn't like OTAs. He likes having his own offseason. Um, he stated that clearly last year when um, COVID pretty much canceled OTAs. And, he, he, you know, he's part of the Players Association. So he's always been advocating for, you know, less offseason, mandatory offseason work and all that. So I think he kind of used this as an extended offseason to, you know, find himself, you know, be with his fiance and all that and go on vacation do what he wants to do and now i believe he will report to the packers for training camp and as i said let's just wait one more day and we'll get that physical aaron Rodgers in green bay and everything will seem a lot clearer for this year at least and, and as i said um past 2021 obviously Devonte adams is going to be on the end of his deal um aaron Rodgers could eventually be traded past 2021 at least his contract allows it so but at this point Let's just worry about 2021. Let's run it back. Let's go for a championship. Let's bring another championship in 2021 to the state of Wisconsin. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks started the first half. Let's have the Green Bay Packers finish the second half, and let's go get this thing. So that's about going to do it for today. If you aren't subscribed already, definitely consider subscribing to my channel as training camp begins. Uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos, news, and analysis on all that sort of thing. So definitely subscribe to my channel and like the video if you did enjoy this. And on that note, I'll catch you all in the next one. As always, go Pack Go!